Odd Note 6, they're flashy and fast. They're meant to blend in, and you might be surprised of who's behind the wheel. More police agencies across Tampa Bay are using unmarked sports cars on patrol. Yeah, we wanted to know if they're making our roads safer or if they could be putting unsuspecting families at risk. Tonight, only on 10 Tampa Bay anchor John Sidorowitz takes us to the streets to find out. Driving aggressive. Here he goes. No signal. From this view, you'd think... 85, just cut that driver off. This was going to be your average traffic stop, this BMW driver. I'm doing 95, pacing it. Caught speeding and weaving in and out of traffic on 275 near downtown St. Pete. Well, average, until you see the car the cop was in. St. Pete police now have this 5.0 V8 Mustang Fastback in the fleet, complete with a full suite, top to bottom, front to back of police lights and power to pull you over. And they're not alone. 10 Tampa Bay found more and more of our local agencies are slipping these stealthy sports cars into the mix to catch unsuspecting speeders. A little outside the box. In Hillsborough County, the Sheriff's Office started with Chevy Camaros in 2019. Now they have about a dozen of these unmarked V6 Dodge Challengers. Most people I don't think would expect to be pulled over if they do get pulled over in a car that looks like this. 90% of the time, the first words out of their mouth is, I didn't know you were a cop. I even have people tell me, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were a deputy. If I did, I wouldn't have done that. The appeal is anonymity, at least until the police lights come on. And these agencies say that's the point. So we followed Corporal Donnie Reiser out on patrol last month, hitting busy 60, 301, and I-75 to see just how easily these cars go unnoticed. Even just sitting right up here behind him at this stoplight, it's really hard to make out any of the lights or anything else that would distinguish that there'd be a deputy inside. It didn't take long. Now, none of the drivers that we saw get stopped were ticketed. Riser says for his team, at least, education comes before citation. Just a written warning, just do me a favor. Before you said at 21 miles an hour over in a construction zone, find a oh. double because there's workers present. That citation for you today would have been about $500. The approach is not the same for every agency. He has everything that a, a normal patrol vehicle would have in it. Sergeant Michael Shade at St. Pete PD said he purposely put his most aggressive traffic enforcer in this car to go after the most aggressive drivers. We're really going after the, the egregious speeds, the really reckless driving that cause serious bodily injury and fatal crashes by the speeds that they're traveling. But with more cops using unmarked cars, it's raising concerns about police impersonators. Just last summer, this guy was arrested for pretending to be police, caught pulling people over on I-75, including this man and his family. You realize that you are in more danger than you knew. Both St. Pete and Hillsborough say an officer or deputy in an unmarked car will always be in uniform, and the car will always have multiple flashing lights. Still, what these agencies see as a major asset. When I think about unmarked police cars, I get awfully concerned. Leaves major questions for others. James Wright is a professor in police community relations at Florida State. Dick Donahue and Bob Harrison are former officers turned researchers with the Rand Corporation Center for Quality Policing. All three argue the jury's still out on this new approach. Do they make the roads safer? It's one of these issues in, in policing where um, the research doesn't tell us much at the moment. So it does need to be looked at. And I think what you found too is, is that there's a, a difficulty in even pinpointing the statistics that support effectiveness or ineffectiveness. Although people don't have a right to speed or a right to violate the law, I think Americans are very concerned with, you know, issues of fairness. You know, are they sneaking up on us? Is this a speed trap? When 10 Tampa Bay tried finding if deputies, officers, or state troopers in unmarked sports cars were writing more tickets than their marked counterparts, we were told by St. Pete, Hillsborough, and the Florida Highway Patrol, citations weren't tracked in that way. We were also curious about how much these cars are costing you. Turns out they're pretty comparable. St. Pete Police told us this brand new Mustang, outfitted with the necessary equipment, set the department back around $55,000, which isn't far off from what a typical marked Explorer runs. Just think about your family. Think about your family and the way you want people to drive around you. 
you look over and you see a car driving aggressively and you're like, where's a cop when you need one? Well, I might be right beside you. When you see videos like that, you know, we had questions about safety with these unmarked vehicles and chasing drivers. All three agencies in this story do have strict high speed pursuit policies. And we checked those policies do apply to these unmarked cars. And it says that if an unmarked vehicle were to start a high speed pursuit, a marked vehicle would then need to take the lead as soon as possible. I'm Justin Orwitz, 10 Tampa Bay.